Sometimes the best way to keep from getting hurt in a school bus is to get out of the bus. This can happen if the bus stalls in a dangerous spot, like on a railroad track, or in heavy traffic, or if there's danger of a fire. To be able to get out of the bus in case of a real emergency, you have to practice by doing what's called a school bus evacuation drill. Practicing, you learn how to stay calm. Let's go. The fastest way to get out of a bus quickly is to walk quietly so you can hear instructions. Right, your turn. <laughs> now your turn. The person in charge is always the school bus driver. He or she decides which is the safest way to get out of the bus. There are three common choices. A front door exit, a rear door exit, and a combination of front and rear doors at the same time. Here's how to practice using the front door exit. Okay, we're going to do an emergency evacuation drill using the front door. Please Evacuations through the front door call for a helper. Helper, if you would stand by the front door and assist anybody coming out. And a leader. Leader, if you'd form a single file line and take the students to the bush over there by the school. Usually two of the older students on the bus. Okay, your turn. All right. Next, the driver releases the students, one seat at a time, and instructs them to follow the leader. He starts at the front of the bus and works his way toward the rear. He lets one side of the aisle go and then the other. Now this seat. Don't walk. Okay, here. You shouldn't try to take your lunch or jacket or books with you. Leave them on the seat. Okay. After the last row is gone, the driver double checks to make sure everybody is out of the bus. That was real smooth. Good with practice, you should be able to do a drill like this without the driver. In a real emergency, he may not be able to help. Sometimes it may be necessary to evacuate a school bus through the rear emergency exit evacuation drill out the back door and because of an accident or fire at the front of the bus. The rear door drill calls for two helpers and a leader. Emergency door and take your positions. In the rear door drill, the driver stays next to the exit to prevent pushing or shoving. Single file to the flagpole. Now we'll leave the bus one row at a time. Again, you leave your right seats one row at a time, starting at the back of the bus. First one side of the aisle, then the other. It's a long way to the ground from the rear door of a school bus. You should crouch in the doorway so you don't bump your head. Watch your head. And place your hands on the shoulders of the helpers. The helpers stand facing each other, one on each side of the door. Land on the balls of your feet and bend your knees. Watch your head. Bend your head. Then follow the leader to a safe place away from the bus. The quickest way to evacuate a school bus is through both the front and the rear doors at the same time, but it takes more practice. Okay, we're going to have an emergency evacuation drill using both the front door and the rear door. For this Please drill, the bus is divided in half. Turn to go. Some schools mark their buses with a line. Everyone forward of the line will use the front exit. Everyone back of here will use the rear exit. Helper, if you'll stand by the door and assist students coming out, leader... Helpers and leaders are needed at each door for this drill. ...by the building. Students in front, if you'll follow the leader. As soon as the students in the front half of the bus have started, the driver moves to the rear door. If you'll open the emergency door and get on the ground, get ready to assist anybody. Leader, if you'll form a single file line, take the students over to the flagpole. You know, crouch down as you go out the door. The back half of the bus Land evacuates the, the same as in the rear door drill. Okay, crouch down. 
After the last student has left, the driver hand. walks back to the front of the bus to make sure that everybody is out. These have been drills done for practice in a schoolyard where a real emergency seems pretty far away. But they're important. I think um, you got to practice these drills because what if the bus caught on fire, everybody might panic and they um, wouldn't get out in time. Some people don't take it too seriously because they think it'll never happen to them. I think it's important because if a bus was in a wreck and if the kids didn't know what to do, then they could all be tumbling and yelling at each other and just panicking. I think it's a good idea to practice because if you really got stuck on a railroad track, you'd know what to do. It takes practice to be able to get out of a school bus in a real emergency.